All right, hello and welcome back to Tom Q's Tech Tips. And today we're looking at a, a little project that I just started into a couple of weeks ago. It's called Open Core Legacy Patcher. We've got quite a few older Macs around the house and uh, this caught my attention and thought might be able to breathe a little bit of new life into some of these old Macs. So, anyway, uh, this is going to be a story of uh, three different scenarios. As you can see on my screen, I've got um, two machines without a metal metal graphics card. So the mid-2011 and late-2011 MacBook Pros do not have a metal graphics card, which turns out to be a pretty big deal. And then on the bottom here, uh, to my right or whatever it is, um, I've got a late 2012 15 inch MacBook Pro with Retina that does have the metal graphics card. So basically everything after mid 2012 has, has metal. Things before that, the 2011s and so forth, typically do not unless they have a replaceable graphics card. So anyway, um, I decided to try this on a MacBook Pro that we keep on the dining room table, the mid-2011. It has been running. Let's go ahead and just switch over to... Well, I'm going to I'm going to start. I'm going to start showing you the late 2012 because I I installed um not that one, this one. There we go. I installed I I, I went for the gold uh, uh, right off the bat with the with the mid 2011 I went ahead and installed Monterey on there I'm using uh, open core legacy patcher version 0 0.4.10 it is early September of 2022 so depending on when you're watching this or might be newer versions that take care of some of the issues and stuff that I'm going to talk about but anyway uh, installation uh, once I got a Monterey installer made, it was very easy. I did, let me just uh, pull up this, this patch really quick here. They have this cool thing where you can create a, an installer. And uh, so I went and uh, tried to download the installer on the mid-2011 13-inch. And uh, so this hopefully... Been having some issues with my internet, my Wi Fi here, so we'll see what happens. But supposedly retrieving a catalog of possible installers right now. And I'm not going to go through the whole installation process because there's some really great videos out there. I followed the one by Mr. McIntosh. And um, so, anyway, I didn't encounter this problem. It, it pulled up the catalog pretty quickly, but when it, uh, when I did try to download Monterey 12.5.1, uh, it would start with a bang. I've got uh, fiber internet here, and it then it would choke somewhere between 20% and 50%. So I moved the process over to a 2013 iMac and tried it again, and pretty much same results. It just stopped it's somewhere in that 20% 20, 20 to 50% range. It's like it, went, it was going well. So I ended up going over to my M1 Mac, I just I installed I downloaded Open Core Legacy Patcher onto it and uh, pulled this up and no issues created a Monterey installer and then took it back over to the mid 2011 and was able to install the 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 Open Core stuff onto the flash drive from there for that model. So anyway, that uh, I I then will. When I rolled back to Big Sur, which I'll talk about in a minute, um, I did the same thing with the M1. So might have might might have something to do with my Wi-Fi. I don't know, but um, otherwise I'm I'm not, uh, except for this morning, not having a whole lot of issues with it. So so anyway, what does it say? No installers available. So it could be could be an internet issue, could be an Apple issue. Who knows? All right, but anyway, I solved my issues by doing it on a different machine. Got. I mean the the installation. I actually did a, uh, and I will. I want. I want to say this about Mr. McIntosh. He does a great job of 
reminding you to back up your stuff multiple times in his videos. So I will do the same. Uh, if you're going to try this, get some kind of a backup on your uh, of, of your documents if you're going to do it. I, I did that, and uh, I'm glad I did. But anyway, my installation of Monterey went went smooth. So I actually did a an install in place. I didn't do I didn't wipe and install. I kind of upgraded the right from High Sierra to Monterey and things went well. So super excited about it. Now we use that machine for you know internet searches, but we also have like um, you know our photos are on there. So one of the first things I did once I opened this up and I will say right now that I'm having a few more anomalies here than I did initially. So I think part of that is me having it hooked up to a second display. So I've got being hooked up to the, the A10 Mini Extreme ISO that I'm hooked up to right now um, makes it think it's got a second display. So I've got a few more graphics anomalies. There are fixes for some of those that I'm going to go into in a minute, but I didn't know about that when I first installed this. So it's part of the reason why I'm making this video. So anyway, first thing, one of the first things I did was I went over to the Photos app. So click that and noticed right away uh, that there was no library at the top. Starts with memories and uh, anyway, works on down. There's, um, I have, I've uh, tapped into my iCloud photo library here and this is an this is another thing that uh, as I was going through the different features, places was not working, people did not seem to be working, and I did leave this running for a day or so, and zero photos scanned continued to be a problem. So I again I didn't know I thought maybe this is something to do with the metal graphics card. It was my initial thought that it's like it can't do that kind of scanning without the metal, but I turned out to be wrong on that. So I'll make some comments on that a little bit here, but I'm going down through the different things. And I did find that if you go down to recents or imports and two finger click on a photo and show in all photos, you do get the chronological order back that you, that you get in the library option. So anyway, in the current configuration here, I don't even have my little slider here to be able to adjust sizes and stuff. So I think I can pinch and, and zoom and stuff like that, but it's not nearly as smooth as it is on newer machines. So then I moved on over to something that we use over there quite a bit, which is texting. And um, I noticed uh, I started seeing some. Uh, now this was this was the extent of my graphics anomalies. You're, we're seeing huge ones up here at the top, be huge blacked out bars. I wasn't seeing that. I was seeing normal things there. But I was seeing uh, things on tap backs. So let me just tap one here. And it's like, you know, it would show some things for a minute. And for whatever reason, the heart seems to be working. And now I was seeing black squares all across. I would see, I would see the thumbs up and thumbs down for a sec, but then they would they would black out. So like I like our texting on there. So I was like, eh, you know, this is this is starting to not not feel like a good experience so no library no places turns out that maps does not work at all which is which, which explains the no places so maps in monterey needs metal so so anyway no maps um turns out that also photo booth does not work uh in in Monterey on a 2011 machine. So I, it's not something that was not a deal breaker for me because I don't really use it, but that came up in a conversation on, on uh, Facebook in the group over there. So that does not work on 2011s. Um, so anyway, um, let's, so what I did was I went ahead, I had my, had my backup and uh, I decided to just start over, went back to my M1 and downloaded the Big Sur package and came back and wiped the machine, started over. 
So let's go over to, I think that is this one. So this is actually the machine where that I'm talking about. So this is the mid 2011 and you can see, I don't, I already don't seem to have the problems with like the big black letter areas at the top. Um, but so headed over to photos. Let's go ahead and open photos. Got places back. So that's nice. And, um, but anyway, uh, to my surprise, there is still, uh, pe so actually people worked as well. So it, didn't, it turned out I did not wait long enough for the computer to scan the photos. And, uh, even if I had waited, I wasn't, what was not happening was the computer was not staying awake to be able to scan. So I'm going to show you that real quick. I'm going to, I'm going to switch back to the other machine to do that. So the late 2011. So I'm going to come down to system preferences and you want to go into your battery settings and go to power adapter and check the box that says prevent your Mac from automatically sleeping when the display is off. So um, anyway, and then probably uncheck the things, the box to put hard disk to sleep when possible. So when I did that, it actually started scanning. So it took it a while, like still took it overnight. So I'm um, going back over to the Big Sur machine. So surprised to find out that there's no library. And uh, so it turns out there's a page on the OpenCore legacy GitHub spot that shows some cap, you know, some issues and solutions. And there is no mention that I could find of missing library in photos. So I don't know. I don't know if they just don't care or, you know, it's like nobody uses nobody that's in this group cares about there being a library. But as far as I can tell, if you do not have a metal graphics card, you are not going to see the library feature in photos. So, but it is, it is a better experience over here. You are going to have people, you are going to have places, you are going to have all these things. And then again, if you do the two finger click in recents or any of these spots, you can go over to the chronological order of your photos. Now, I'm just for a minute, I'm going to switch over to the... 2012 late 2012 this does you can see over here this does ha have a metal capable graphics card and i've tried this uh i've tried this on a mid 2012 uh the non-retina model i've tried this on a 2012 imac and uh, it as long as it's got the better graphics card it seems to be fine so so anyway, I'm going to go open photos real quick and just show you. This is photos on a 2012. We do have we do have library and and we do have also the years and things up at the top. Now, I don't know if you just saw that, but it, we, this is one of the scenarios where I'm seeing some graphic glitches. So little little things that are popping in and out. That's a little bit of a concern. I also see some little graphics glitches when I wake this thing up out of sleep. But anyway, I'll say, say more about the 2012 in a bit here. So back to the mid 2011. So, so anyway, uh, let's head on over to uh, messages. So one of the things about messages that I saw right away was that things were working. And so when I came over to, uh, to do this video and plug this into the switcher, all of a sudden I'm having the issues with the tap backs again. So I, my first, my first thought was, well, these 2011 machines with Big Sur, uh, it works okay if you only have the display that's built in. But as soon as you add a second display, then you've got issues. Turns out to not be entirely accurate. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you the solution. Now this, uh, if you head on over to um, 
your system preferences and go to displays what we're looking for and it's actually kind of hard to see it because if you're having this problem because the bu the buttons that you need to switch things is there they also don't work so you have to kind of click through these things and it turns out that this big black blob here is actually a list of color profiles so i'm just going to click inside there and uh so on on the website and what did i just do uh i just somehow clicked away there we go uh turns out so i'm just going to show you real quickly over here oh my 2012 i've actually and i'm gonna put a link to this page in um there it is all right so there's a there's a page on uh, the legacy patcher github spot that has a list of issues and potential solutions and one of these says that it here it is black interface elements to certain sandy bridge max so i'm certainly certainly experiencing that over here and the solution is switch change the display color pro profile to display may resolve and for me it does resolve so it does limit, let's go back over to the mid-2012, and I'm going to come down and find one of my displays here, and boom, I got my, I got my buttons back, and when I come over to messages, all my tap backs are back. It doesn't matter. I've got multiple, two displays, and it's working okay. So you are limited to what color profile you use. It has to be one of the display ones on the 2011s but it does clear up all those anomalies. And so when I discovered that, I was like, oh, what about the Monterey, 2011 on Monterey? So let's go back over to that one, the late, 20, the late 2011 with Monterey installed where I'm having the huge issues. So let's go down to system preferences on that one. Displays, it's in a different spot on Monterey. Display settings, also set up differently. And color profile, let's switch this to display. And bingo. So I've got all my graphics elements back. I mean, all these bars that were black at the top, especially like over here, these things, these are all working. And when I come down to my messages, I have got my tap backs back. So, um, anyway, uh, so one less, one less reason to have rolled back, but, uh, still, uh, still, um, if I go over back to photos and I look at places, there's never going to be places unless, unless these guys figure out something. And I don't know if you can, my, this machine that I'm working on the late 2011, it, it is thinking really hard about these photos. So, um, the fans are kind of at full blast right now. So, um, so anyway, the other thing about that, if you're wanting it to scan for photos, photos does need to be in the background. So what I did was I, uh, I brought up the activity monitor and and then just minimized photos and let it run in the background. So, and then in about 24 hours, I did have all my photos scanned and people started working. So, um, and so anyway, uh, I think I mentioned, oh, let's, one more thing about these 2011s. So, I've already opened maps. Let me just, uh, let me, uh, I'm going to open. Um, let's go over to the mid 2011 and I'm going to do a search for find, find my, it's the first time I think I've been in to find my on this, on my user. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Oh, some graphics glitches. So what's new in find my? Um, it's got a little list here, a little pop-up, and there is no button 
anywhere to dismiss this. So I ran into this in Maps, although I could see the button in Maps, it just didn't click. It was a continue button in Maps to, it was like, tell me what's new in Maps and then continue, but tapping continue did not work. So it turns out that there's, let me uh, switch back over to this page. That is one of the, uh, one of the things can't press done in widget settings. So turns out that, that this is similar to that, even though it's not quite the same issue, but uh, so the, it, the solution there was to press tab. And now you can see that there's a little outline around a button. Still can't click it, but I can press the space bar and that, and that does it. So when I did, uh, when I did that in maps in a, first take of this video on the other machine. I don't, I don't, I think I've already done it here, but there's going to be a number of places where you see that. And when I did it, but when I did it in maps, there was another pop-up that told me about the new sharing features and I could not get that to go away without force quitting. So force quits an option and then maps came up. Okay. So, so anyway, um, Maps is working on Big Sur, so if places and things like that is a is a need for you, then that's going to work better. So anyway, I, I'm just thinking as I'm talking right now is 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 places a big enough reason for me to not run Monterey on this mid 2011? Uh, it, so, it, but anyway, it, it also just brings up the question: Should you do this to your computer? I would say on Big Sur, on the 2011s, Big Sur or Monterey is not a, it's not a beautiful experience. I mean, it, it, it is giving, what, did it, what is it giving me? It is giving me a couple of more years of security updates. We, we already know that El Capitan for the last year has stopped working with many websites, even with Firefox and Chrome that have had gotten updates longer than Safari. I'm expecting Sierra to have that issue starting probably about the time that Ventura comes out. And then a year from now, I would expect High Sierra to ha start having those kinds of issues. So installing Big Sur or Monterey on this machine is presumably adding a couple of extra years of security and being able to browse the web on these machines. So, uh, you know, it's, it, it is giving it more life. So, so anyway. Um, but there are, you know, if photos is your thing, you're not going to have the library on Monterey. There's not going to be, there's not going to be photo booth. I think that's, those are the main things. I've res resolved the issue about the tap backs and messages, whether you're on Big Sur or Monterey. So it's mainly, mainly the maps and the places. So, and then of course, none of, None of the newer features like universal control and stuff like that are going to work on the 2011s. So anyway, let's move on over to the late 2012. This has been a really nice surprise. Uh, late 2012, again, there's the, the their page, and I put a link to this uh, issues page in the description of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the way. So... Again, the, you do have library here. Everything in Photos works. In fact, um, I mean, the, it's just smooth. So the pinching, the zooming all the way in, all the way out, none of, none of that actually works. That kind, this kind of smoothness and going down to those smaller, those smaller thumbnails, that doesn't work in Big Sur or Monterey on the 2011s. So much much better experience inside of inside of photos all around and um so there's that um let me just uh i don't again i don't use photo booth but i'm just gonna go ahead and open that for a sec when i saw somebody post something uh about this um so photo booth does work here it, it when you go into effects it it's like i don't know if i want to do this or not it's like uh when i first went into it that's actually kind of kind of working but it's like kind of thinking about it kind of not thinking about it so it's like there's there there could be issues here so um 
some big surprises, uh, nice surprises. So I'm going to grab the, uh, the trackpad that is hooked up to my M1 Mac. And uh, I'm going to move it. This arrow that you're seeing, this is not the trackpad from the, the 2012. I just moved that. Now it's going to make a liar out of me here. Now there it is. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm used, I'm just moving that over from my M1. So, um, this is really nice. I, I could really, I really can use this feature because I, uh, I use this Mac in a weekly broadcast that I do as a second machine to display something and just switch from me to that without doing screen sharing and cutting other people off. So I, I really love this feature. Now I've heard that there are some later models that are actually blacklisted from this feature by Apple. So the 2012s, the 2013s, maybe the 2014s. I can't remember what years. I know the 2015s are blacklisted. Uh, at least I've heard that. So this, you, if you have a later model, this may not work for you, but I really love this. And then the, the other thing that's kind of nice, I don't, I don't really see myself using this a lot, but, um, is it has the airplay receiving so an uh, and airplay itself so it doesn't i i don't think airplay works on the 2011 so that if that's something that you need um anyway i'm i'm going into my phone here and i'm just going to select the 2015 as um as the thing i want to the thing i want to do here so so anyway that's working and uh so airplay receiving is working airplay sending is working and um so anyway i think that's cool i'm gonna go ahead and turn that off now there are things that don't work in there if you try to get uh fancy and start like live streaming from your phone you know doing let's see if i can break this hold on a second i'm gonna go back in start start the start the streaming again there it goes all right so let's go into the camera app. Oh, video. Let's do that. Nope. Okay. Well, uh, there's my two 2011s and there's my 2015. So, uh, I don't know. That's actually pretty good there. So, uh, and anyway, that was kind of a rabbit hole, rabbit trail. And, uh, but anyway, so that's kind of cool. So really, except for the occasional anomalies with graphics and stuff, I have found the experience on the twenty, the late 2012 Retina to be, there's one of the anomalies, um, surprisingly good. I, I'm just really, I'm delighted with it. I mean, it's, I feel like the fans are on less than they were with Catalina. Admittedly, I don't push this as hard as I used to when it was my primary machine. But, you know, us usually as soon as I hooked this thing up to a second display, the fans would just kick on full blast. And uh, so I've, in, by second display, I mean, I'm talking my ATEM switcher. So I have not heard that with, with this machine. So, so anyway, uh, super, just, I'm just delighted with it on every, all the poking around I've done on even the mid 2012 with eight gigs of Ram and an SSD. Uh, I have SSDs in all of these as I've got in the little thing at the bottom. Um, we can go ahead and switch back to here. Cause I think I'm kind of wrapping up here, but SSDs are pretty much a requirement. Eight gigs of Ram, I would consider a requirement. And, uh, and you know, if you've got a 2012, I would say back up your stuff and do it. It's it's going to be a lot of fun in my opinion. So go over and find those videos from Mr. Macintosh to just walk through the steps of of when you press option and do all these things to do the installing and then just do it. I'm not going back on those 2012 models. Um have having my thoughts on the 2011s. If Open Core Legacy Patcher supported Catalina, I probably would roll my 2011s back to Catalina. 
until there was some better better support for the graphics and stuff like that. So until I get that library in photos. So so anyway, if anybody knows how to get the library in photos back on a 2011 machine, I'd love for you to leave a comment about that. Appreciate any other comments. Uh, but I think that's it. So thank you for tuning in to Tom Q's Tech Tips, and I hope you have a good day. See you next time.